Hi everyone. Many people dream of having their own home all their life. When you watch popular TV series where the whole family gathers on the eve of Christmas near the fireplace, you just want to be there with them. You can turn on the music, forget about annoying neighbors, and have large dogs that would suffer from a lack of space in an ordinary apartment. Sounds tempting, right? But for some people, it's not enough just to live in a comfortable home. They want to stand out from the rest. So they come up with shocking facades and very weird architectural solutions. Sometimes their imagination clearly defies comprehension, and sometimes it helps create real masterpieces. In today's video, we will show you unusual homes, and quite possibly, you will want to live there. Let's get it on. Magic House when you see this house, you'll most likely think, how can you even fit in there? And indeed, from the outside, this unusual dwelling in Deerfield, Illinois does look incredibly small. The width of its walls doesn't exceed 90 centimeters, but this place must be something like the Room of Requirements from Hogwarts, because there seems to be more than enough space inside it. Neighbors and visitors tend to smirk at the sight of the house, but some people really like the bold design. This spring, by the way, the house was sold for $200 $160,000. But still, there are a lot of questions. How could you fit a staircase in such a house? Where's the bed gonna go? Okay, well, let's reveal a secret. In fact, what you see is a curious optical illusion. Behind the house is a massive annex with plenty of free space for a basement, two bedrooms, three restrooms, and a spacious living room. Well, the narrow part of the building you see from the street is a place for an ordinary storage. No magic, just clever planning. Narrow Home in Boston, this architectural wonder has long become a local landmark, so it's not surprising that when the house was put up for sale for a record amount of $895,000, a whole bunch of people showed up. Most of them came, of course, just to gaze at the house with no actual intent of buying it. Indeed, the width of the building is only a little more than three meters, and no hidden rooms with plenty of space. By the way, there is an interesting urban legend about the peculiar shape of the house. One day, two Two brothers inherited a land plot from their father. At that time, one of the brothers was far away from Boston, fighting in the brutal battles of the Civil War. When he returned home, he found out that his beloved brother had already built a huge mansion on the best part of the land. But the former soldier came up with a clever comeback. He erected a tall, narrow house on the site, which blocked the view and the sun for his brother. Quite an evil plan, no one can deny that. Of course, not everyone will be able to feel comfortable inside. The house has very low ceilings, so low that a person of a medium height can easily reach it with his hand, and the purchase of any furniture will turn into a sheer nightmare. After all, no manufacturer makes such narrow sofas and beds, and it's very difficult to squeeze them into the doorway. Nevertheless, there is still an inexplicable atmosphere of comfort in this house, and we bet that you'd gladly spend at least a couple of days there. House with a Predator one evening back in 1986, Oxford resident Bill Hine was sitting across from his new house with a picturesque terrace, feeling happy about a successful purchase. But still, something was bothering him. The man wanted the building to be not only comfortable for living, but also original. So, Bill asked his sculptor friend to make the facade a bit more lively. He did an excellent job too, but he wasn't using columns or interesting architectural elements as you might have thought. Instead, the man decided decided to build a six-meter shark body and place it right on the roof. This is logical. In those years, the movie Jaws was very popular. The fiberglass monument, of course, immediately became a local landmark. Yep, tourists and many locals really loved the shark, which can't be said about the Oxford mayor. He demanded to immediately remove the artificial animal, as it allegedly posed a danger to others. Alas, the litigation continued for many years and ended only when Bill Hine passed away. Skater's House for a fan of active sports, staying at home is perhaps the worst thing in the world. 
Of course, you can hang out for days in a skate park and come home just to change. But what if the park is closed for repairs or a cyclone brings never-ending rain to the city? Austrian skater Philipp Schuster doesn't have to worry about that. He loves riding his skateboard so much that he decided to turn his hunting lodge near Salzburg into a real skate park. To do this, he needed several tons of cement, the help of his friends, and of course, a lot of creativity and patience. As a result, Philip now has a variety of ramps and other structures to perform tricks within walking distance of his bed. The important thing, though, is to not ruin the house while doing an especially daring trick. Tower House You've probably noticed water towers in the urban space. They usually consist of a tank and a support structure. In layman's terms, they serve to regulate the flow of water and its pressure in a particular network. As a rule, the height of such structures is rather impressive, up to 30 meters, which is equal to a standard nine-story building. This Southern California water tower rises 26 and a half meters into the sky and has a unique design. But this is not what makes it so memorable. At its top, there is a luxury house with an area of 260 square meters with a panoramic view of the picturesque beaches. But what is most surprising is anyone can stay here. In 2016, the water tower room was completely renovated and refurbished in line with the latest design trends. Now there are two garages, an elevator, three restrooms, a kitchen, a bar, a laundry room, and an incredible circular living room. And now anyone can rent such an original house for a couple of days. Cinema Fan's House in order to build a dream home, you don't have to buy a huge villa several hundred meters in the area. Take a hint from Steve Doman from Colorado, who turned his humble cottage into a movie studio from his beloved Star Trek saga. The author of the project says the repair cost him no more than $30,000. After all, he found many interior elements among the stuff his neighbors threw out. The owner of the house sleeps at the headquarters of the Klingons, a fictional alien civilization of humanoid warriors. And considers the United Federation of Planets his favorite room. It is difficult to imagine what dreams you might have in such an unusual setting, but we're certain that they're no less exciting than the plot of his favorite series. House in a Plane Many people just love to fly. There's something a bit special about arriving at the airport early, ordering a cup of coffee while waiting for your flight, and then flying in the seat of a huge Boeing in anticipation of meeting your loved ones or seeing a beautiful place. Speaking of Boeings, it turns out that some people love airplanes so much that they're ready to make them their home. At least one home like that was built by Bruce Campbell from Hillsborough, Oregon. It's a huge Boeing 727-284 aircraft parked right in the middle of a deserted forest. Such a strange architectural project was inspired by the fact that a huge number of planes end up on a junkyard every year. Why throw away something so high-tech, Bruce thought, and it's hard to disagree with him. So far, the atmosphere inside can hardly be called cozy, but it definitely has everything you need. A bed, a refrigerator, kitchen appliances, and even a shower. However, if you invite guests here, they won't be picky about the interior decoration. A house like this just looks too impressive from the outside outside. House made of glass. They say the more windows in the house, the better. They fill the space with light and expand it, and also allow us to admire the view outside the window. If, of course, the location of your house is good. The important thing is not to forget to close the curtains at the right time to avoid being embarrassed by neighbors and passers-by. The owners of this fabulous building near Brooklyn don't have to worry about such things. Not only did they decide to build the walls of their house exclusively from windows of various shapes and designs, they also placed the entire structure on a tree in a deserted forest so that no one could bother them. This fantastic house just gives us very special vibes. Just look at these stunning Christmas shots. It seems that the soundtrack from Home Alone is already playing in our heads. House in a Church Abandoned houses tend to scare people, especially when it comes to the old church where no one's been for many years. Well, some people, on the contrary, are fascinated by such buildings. The young artist named Art is one of them. When he found out that a 100-year-old Anglican church was up for sale in his hometown of Lambton Shores, Ontario, an insane plan came into his mind. The guy decided to treat the building like an art project, perhaps the most serious in his life. After all, he decided to make this place his home. Yep, right within the walls of the chapel with gothic motifs and mosaics on the windows. And we must say, he did a great job. 
Spaceship House While Elon Musk has not yet sent a team to colonize Mars, mere mortals can only dream of flying in a spaceship. But who said that you can't live in one? And the best thing, you don't even have to move to the harsh and unwelcoming red planet. You can just build your own shuttle from accessible materials and place it somewhere on the edge of the city, away from the hustle and bustle of city life. Don't believe us? I'll just keep watching. This Australian resident loves her house, which seems to have descended to Earth from some science fiction movie. It doesn't have perpendicular walls or ceilings we're used to. All the vaults form futuristic smooth lines, and it looks incredible. The space inside is somewhat reminiscent of picturesque sand dunes, another reference to Mars where we may live someday. Tell us, would you like to live in such an original home? Psychedelic House if you look at the facade of this house for long enough, you may feel like you're in a movie about Willy Wonka. There are so many rich flowers and fantastic ornaments here, but actually we are in Bolivia now. To be more precise, in the highest metropolis in the world, El Alto. The city is located at 4,100 meters above sea level. The local architect, Freddy Mamani, came up with the unusual design of this building. He draws inspiration not from bright cartoons, as one might think, but from the traditions of the indigenous I Mara people. They were always famous for their talent for weaving, and their patterned ornaments are widely known throughout the world. So, the creator decided to introduce their cultural heritage to architecture. Perhaps not everyone would want to live in such a house, but such buildings are very popular as a venue for special events. When you look at it, your heart is filled with joy. Dumpster House in theory, any object with walls can become a home. The rest is just details, really. Some even manage to live in a three square meter space, like this guy from Austin, Texas. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention, he created his home from an old trash dumpster. This is part of his project on sustainable development and environmental care. Jeff Wilson, or as he calls himself, Professor Dumpster, does not complain about his life at all and seems to be quite happy with his modest home. The only problem is that there's no drain or shower in the trash dumpster, for obvious reasons. So, he has to take a shower and use the bathroom at school, where he works as an environmental science professor. Life in a dumpster has some benefits, though. If you want to stare at the stars, you just need to open the lid, which the professor often does. House on the Cliff Many thousands of years ago, our ancestors often chose caves as their homes. There, they could hide from a predator, wind and rain. Today, houses made of stones are not so common. The temperature there is too low, but there are exceptions. For example, the Dar al Hajjar Palace, located a few kilometers from the Yemeni capital of Sana'a. There is a museum in it today, but a few decades ago, the luxurious house served as a royal residence. It seems that the seven-story building grows right out of the rock. The local architects really did amazing work here, and the decoration inside is even more interesting. Here, you can find a stunning spiral staircase and many passages. Despite the nickname Stone Palace, many of the building's facades were built of baked clay bricks. However, the carved stone became the highlight of this architectural ensemble. Treehouse Seems like this house was built by Tim Burton for his new movie. When you look at it, it's hard to imagine what you could discover inside. But what you see is actually not a decoration. Moreover, people come here every year to stay for a couple of days and have an unforgettable experience. This is a hotel in Vietnam, and it looks like it's integrated into a giant banyan with its many aerial roots and bizarre trunks. You can admire the facades of local houses for hours. No wonder the hotel is among the 10 most creative buildings in the world, according to a major Asian newspaper. Well, and perhaps according to everyone who's ever been there. House in the Ground Take a closer look. Don't you get the feeling that the facade of this house was simply glued to a photo of a natural landscape in Photoshop? We think so too, but this house is quite real. You just haven't seen anything like this yet. By and large, this is a real cave that Swiss architects dug on a hill in the Alps. To do this, the specialists had to make a circular cut 11 meters deep in the slope and then build a concrete frame. The bearing walls were made of stone and concrete and the exterior was finished with rocks extracted from the local area. And inside? Well, no words are necessary here. You just have to see it. It's surprising that during the day, the villa is exposed to a lot of sunlight, even though three of its bearing walls are cut into the earthen slopes. That's some architectural ingenuity. 
Hey buddy, are you tired of watching videos about cute animals and heartwarming stories? You need something more serious in your life. Tough cars, cool robots and the most unusual gadgets in the world. Get the high-tech adrenaline rush you need on Texan. Subscribe now, we are waiting for you.